Hello, my name is Julio Alejandro. I work in technology and I am a citizen of London that is very concerned of what happened in the burning of Greenfield Tower in London in June of 2017. So from a very humble opinion of someone that is interested, that works in different ways within disruptive technologies, I could see how some technologies maybe could help identify some of the problems that are happening here. So one of the biggest problems on as now is Friday, uh, today's after the massacre, it's we don't know exactly how many people uh, were dead and we don't know what caused the, the fire and we after several hours we don't know if there would still someone alive after three, four, even eight hours inside of that building. So my first um, response or one of the things that could actually work is or that could work maybe it could be a drone. So getting a drone would just cost you 200 probably $500 and you could fly it all the way in there and if there you get 24 drones you could actually examine all of the places and all of the areas that are in the, all of the um, the stores that are inside of a building and there's some stabilization mechanism so you can just tell the drone remain within their GPS within your specific location uh, for uh, two minutes five minutes uh, they usually they can have batteries of up to one hour um, if you if for a government you can charge you can get a drone that would have two three even four hours of battery and it would not be a very exaggerated price and there is hundreds probably thousands of people that know how to use drones here in London and in the United States all across the US uh, that could solve uh, the lack of someone that we could uh, manage how to how to use a drone. Another thing that would be important is uh, first the drone could have cameras so it could have that it, people could see if there's actually anyone that is moving or if there's some sign that you would need to understand so, so you know what is happening inside of it. Second you can have a microphone um, so if there's someone that is speaking you can have someone in the operator saying there's someone in here um, and we believe that it's in the second floor and even if it already happened one day or even 36 hours the human body is so powerful that those people can still be alive so a drone would help you to allocate if there's someone still alive at the moment and even if that person cannot help you can put a, a, a heat sensor uh, so a heat sensor the body produces warmth it produces blood the blood is warm and you can locate and say okay there's someone that it's still producing blood in that area and you can also use a voice recognition pattern a voice mechanism so even if the um, the operator cannot listen or he's there are people that are listening to the to the information that is coming out of the microphone the machine could identify and say there's a human voice in this area and he's whispering and this is what he's actually trying to say. So that could be another solution, uh, kind of like uh, voice recognition. I wouldn't like to call it like artificial intelligence or machine learning or deep mind. Those are, would be like more uh, specific terms. Uh, but there are so many ways that technology and even just an individual himself could try to just push or contribute to make this catastrophe um, being more variable and to create solutions not out of policies and ideas but actually within very easy technologies that it could just be using a drone.